Hi, I'm Joe Whitehead from Ashridge Strategic Management Centre, and along with Andrew Campbell, also of Ashridge, and Sidney Finkelstein of Tuck Business School, we have authored the book Think Again. Think Again has two main themes. The first theme is that even great decision makers can make bad decisions. And we spend some time laying out the research uh, that neuroscientists and a variety of different disciplines have come up with that show how the brain works, how it processes information unconsciously, how emotions come into play, gut feelings. And these can often guide experienced decision makers into making great decisions. But under certain conditions, what we call red flag conditions, they can lead to serious errors. So there are four types of red flag conditions we identify. Uh, number one is misleading experience. For example, if you take the uh, case of Royal Bank of Scotland, Sir Fred Goodwin had grown Royal Bank of Scotland from being a regional bank based in Edinburgh to really being a global bank uh, spread across the world. His experience was that by acquiring banks, he could rationalise them, cut costs and grow the business. Unfortunately, he applied that experience to a situation where it was misleading. He acquired ABN AMRO, which was one of the most expensive banking acquisitions in history, paid for it in cash, weakened his balance sheet, and eventually bankrupted RBS because he was making that acquisition at the beginning of the credit crunch. And so his experience of acquiring in the good times didn't help him when it came to acquiring in the bad times. There are three other uh, red flag conditions. We call them misleading prejudgments, inappropriate self-interest, and inappropriate attachments. And we describe each of these in some detail in Think Again. So the second theme of our book is what to do about it and how to reduce the risk of flawed decisions. And we suggest a two-step process, what we call the red flags and safeguards process. The first step is to identify the red flag conditions, which I've just described. And the second is to pick out particular process safeguards that will help for those particular red flag conditions. So taking the example of Sir Fred Goodwin at RBS, the board could have challenged him uh, and said, are you sure that the previous history of making good acquisitions is something that we can draw on to conclude that this is a good acquisition? Isn't the situation changed? Unfortunately, in the case of RBS, the chairman was not an experienced banker, and so that didn't happen. And as we know, RBS has collapsed and is bankrupt today. So what's the lesson? Number one, uh, recognize that even great decision makers can make flawed decisions. Number two, use the red flag conditions and safeguards process to reduce the risk that it'll happen to you.